you anything and everything. I'm Jack Lyon. And I'm KC Phoenix. And before you go any further, make sure that you click the subscribe button. That way you will always be the first to receive the only, only opinion, opinion that matters. matters. That's right, and today we're going to go ahead and dive into the world of Game of Thrones. That's right, George R. R. Martin's classic and superbly popular series that is now on HBO. That's right, it's not TV, it's HBO. Somebody's searching for a check. <laughs> well, what we're going to do today is we're going to review our favorite characters, or at least some of our favorite characters, because it is hard to choose a favorite. There are so many damn characters in the show. Sometimes it's like, wait, who did what they, who, they, I can't keep up with it half the time, but, and I still don't know the names. I'm only four seasons in. And I binge watched it. I literally, I started watching like years ago when it was a brand new show. I got like two episodes in and I was like, forget it. I'm done. There's incest and there's all this crazy shit. I'm not trying to watch this show whatever yep. then along came the dragons and i got i got reintroduced somebody reintroduced me thank god and i literally watched 60 hours of game of thrones in the last like month which is awesome if you have the chance to binge watch game of thrones do it because i feel like i was way less tormented than having to wait once a week every week and then waiting for new seasons and all that it was mm -hmm. it was a fun thrill ride and the writing i could see it is just brilliant and i i just compared it earlier today to like a, a game of chess that george r r martin has set up and is playing out in front of us so all that said i guess we go ahead and talk about our favorite characters and i will go ahead and talk about my character which i'm only four seasons in but my aunt character, she kind of really needs no introduction, but I have to give her her formal introduction hmm. as the freer of slaves, the player of Jimi Hendrix guitar, the keeper of Biggie's crypt, the maker of all things microwavable, the mother of dragons. Are we watching the same show? The Keeper of Biggie's Crypt. Well, I mean, when there was an episode of the Pyramid. Oh. That's where Biggie was buried. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Daenerys Stromburn. Right. I love her. She will always get a sweet from me. And I love her for several reasons. And I have my little note card here to tell you what the <laughs> reasons are. <laughs> so, tell the em. first reason, tell em, as Casey. I mentioned, is that she is the mother of dragons. I mean, enough said. Who's the mother of dragons? Not anybody else. Daenerys. <laughs> so, it doesn't get any better than that. And also, another thing I like that I wrote down on my note card here is that the dragons were hatched in the fire when she went into it. Mm. I watched it. She went into the fire with her husband. She's the unburned. And then she came out unburned. Yeah. And naked. Which, by the way, you know what? Not to get sidetracked, because I don't, we don't want this to go too far along. But not to get too sidetracked. I really believe on Game of Thrones, there's some type of disease that these people have that they don't know about where it makes them allergic to clothes because everybody is always naked oh on God, them. They have so their funny. clothes on for a minute and then just whoosh. Yeah. Clothes come off. Well, I mean, I, I would tell you one thing. If I was in that world wielding a sword or some kind of power and I had to, like, take up arms, I would swear my allegiance and loyalty to Daenerys Stormburn of the House Targaryen in a second. Which, that's the other thing I like too. That's on my note card too. I'm getting used to these note cards, people. <laughs> they told me, you need to use note cards, Casey. And I took their advice. So I wrote down everything on my note card okay, here. What'd you that write? was What'd my you other write? part. What is it? She got in touch with her inner destiny's child. She needed a soldier. 
So she took that soldier. The soldier said to her, I only do two things well. I kill and I make love. Something along those lines. Yeah, I don't think that's how the line went. But. Well, it was along those lines. <laughs> and he's like, send me to kill someone. And she said, I'm not sending you to kill someone. And then he's like, well, what am I to do? And she said, well, do what you do best. And then that's when she asked him to script naked. <laughs> and when he script naked and all that man was standing in front of her, she looked him up and down and saw the sword that he really carried. Oh, Lord. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is PG-13. So, <clears throat> you gave her a ranking? I, I gave her a sweet. Okay, sweet. Ooh. Okay, so... The character that I'm talking about today is none other than, I mean, she doesn't have quite as long of an intro, but let me just try here. She is oh, okay. the blonde, curly, wavy-haired mistress of misfortune. Do you know how many people on there have blonde, curly, wavy hair? And she is the mother of the inbred... And um, she is, uh, you know, lover of her brother, and I don't think she keeps anybody's crips, really, but, yeah, I'm talking about Cersei Lannister. And now, like I said before, it's hard to choose a favorite, and somebody already chose my real favorite, but I wanted to go ahead and just throw out a little honorable mention to Cersei Lannister. That's right. She is one evil lady, and she is a manipulator. You like would call no her a lady? Other. Well, she is the queen mother. And uh, I can't say anything else. Yeah, because you Because you've only seen four seasons. So out of respect for you and not spoiling anything, She's I'll leave it at that. That's for sure. She is a piece of work. And George R.R. R. Martin, I just... Great writing. It is brilliant writing. I hate and loathe and detest Cersei Lannister, but there are times too when I feel for her because she is a mother and she has the love of her children at the top priority in her brain and that is identifiable. My mom might not murder an entire country if something were to happen to me, but she might want it, you know, and I think She's relatable in a way, but it's it's like I said, it's that chess game, and it's a beautiful back and forth, and honestly, I cannot wait to see these two ladies duke it out in, in some kind of a battle, whether it's their armies or whether, I don't know how it's going to happen, but Cersei Lannister, your days are numbered. So you're mm. giving her a sweet or a salty? Well, because I don't like the bitch. I don't like her either. So I guess that's a salty. I don't like her. I, I would say in terms of the writing, the character, I give it a sweet because she gives us somebody to hate. It keeps the plot moving and, and thickening and there's so much going on. And, you know, there's all these houses like trying to like join up and fight each other. And she's trying to maintain power. And she's a power hungry, nasty person. And, and honestly, it's a sweet for me it's a sweet for me because as a as a viewer the experience that i get i i feel i feel hatred for her i feel uh, identification with her and and the love that she has for her family and wanting to like maintain stability and all that like she's she's a complex character which i love that about her and the actress is amazing well i thought you were about but. to say another word instead of complex <laughs> but. no but I would I would say, you know, the character salty, of course, but the writing, what that character is, you know, what what it provides for the story and stuff is a sweet. So like I don't know, I'm torn, but I would say a salty for Cersei, a sweet for Khaleesi. You heard it here, folks. Mother of dragons. Mother of mother dragons. 
<sighs> Beautiful thing. Beautiful. Well, don't forget to click on the subscribe, like, follow, do whatever you want. We're on Twitter. I'm at Jack Lyon. Oh, and I'm at Real KC Phoenix. I'm just having a moment. <laughs> I'm picturing a woman flying on a dragon. Woo. At that, folks, we're going to cut it. Thanks what? for tuning in, and check us out next time. <laughs> we're Sweet and Salty Reviews. That was a good dragon. Peace.